What it do is your boy Jacoby Jules and we're back with another video. On today's video, on today's video we sit down to talk a little bit. We nerd out. Today's a, a learning episode. We're going to talk about jewelry waxes. All the jewelry waxes you need for jewelry making. All the way from the 3D printing wax, all the way down to the injecting wax for making more pieces of jewelry than you could ever dream of. So, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and let's get on to the next one. So what it do guys, here we are with all the jewelry waxes we use in the industry. This is what the pros use. This is what I personally use. All these jewelry waxes are what David Jacoby personally uses to make jewelry. So now let's get into it. So starting off, we're gonna start off with the gold wax. It's a very good wax. This is for hand carving. That's why it comes in different sizes. So if you wanna make a nameplate, you would use this. If you wanna make something like a ring or a pendant or a sculpture, you use this. And the reason why it's gold is because every wax has a different color and that means something different on the scale of wax making. So for hand carving, one of the best ones you have is gold. Now gold has great flexibility, great durability, and it's very good at casting. So this is the gold wax. Now from the same company, you have the purple wax. This is a purple wax that comes in a cylinder. It comes like this so you can carve out a ring. You can just carve it, mark it, and start carving it out to your size. Now, we have different types of wax tubes depending on what you need for the jewelry making. So now you have the purple that's solid, you have the also the green that's solid, but the difference is that the purple is stronger. So if you're gonna do something that has a lot of detail, a lot of detail, I recommend the purple because the green is not gonna do it as well as the purple. So now you have the holes in the middle that just saves you material because at the end of the day we're jewelers and we want to be able to save every single penny because you know if you're if you're sweeping for gold dust you're also sweeping for you to not spend material. So this is what you get. These are the, for ring making. These are the cylinders and these are the different ones that come in. So these are the ones I use. So now if you want to go with what David Jacoby uses is the purple and the green one. Why? Because I just told you it's it's, it's the thing. This is the best one. You can't get better. Now, moving on to something different is the sheets of wax. Also green. I love the green. Now, this is what we use for grill making, for the gold grills, for the custom grills, iced out grills. It starts off as a sheet of wax like this. Now, you can bend it, fold it, twist it, everything, and it's still like nothing happened. I mean, it gets a little bit, you know, bumpy, but it still works. You know, you'll be able to work with it. So that's what, this is what is used for the grill making. Now moving on to a different type of wax, still from hand carvability, but it's the blue wax. We're looking at the blue wax and this is very, very flexible, very soft. I would not recommend this wax if you are first starting off in the jewelry just because it's gonna break. Break, 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 break. And you're gonna get frustrated and it's probably not you. I mean, it's probably like 25% you, 20% your problem because you're using too much strength, but also the wax is too flexible and too brittle, it's not gonna work. You know, it's just, it's not meant as opposed like the gold wax. The gold wax is meant for hand carpability. This one is too, but it's not as strong. It's not, it's not, it's, it's not like the gold or the purple or the, or the green. So, and the scale of waxes is the softest one. So just so y'all know, the blue one is the softest. Now, moving on to the CNC machine, the big block. I know people are like, what is that big block? So this is a big block of wax. This is the green wax, and this is what they use for the CNC machine making. So they connect it to the machine, and they go ahead and start, they start drilling into it, and they create the piece from it, and boom, you got it, green, Beautiful casting, it'll hold, but it's quite expensive. Let me say that. This is not the cheapest route to go because, you know, this is meant for only that. So when I bought it, I didn't know that. I bought it because I thought, you know, I would be able to make a nameplate, ice it out, and it just didn't work out 
the best for me, as opposed if I would have used a CNC machine, which it's beautiful for. Now, moving on to 3D wax prints. Right here, we have the blue and the purple. Whenever you're going to see jewelry making or jewelers use it, you'll most likely see either a blue wax or a purple one. You might even see a red one from this same brand. But mind you, for example, if I had to pick from which one to use, this one is a $25,000 printer. This blue wax is from the Solidscape $25,000 printer. I personally have it. This is from my personal printer. I personally printed this and I love it. The reason I love it is because it's strong enough where I can play with it. I can, you know, it, I can work with it. And, you know, it's still wax, so I get the beautiful castability. You know, for instance, look at this. Look, look at the quality of the, of, the of the prongs. You know, and these prongs don't fall off easy. Like, look, I'm going like this and they're not falling off and it's complete wax. This is 100% wax. This melts with a lighter. Now, am I going to melt it for the video? Absolutely not. You're crazy because I'm going to cast it. But after, you'll see that it's the same one. Look at that. Look at that. Now, if you did this to one of the prongs on the purple, oh, boy, you'll be crying. You're going to be frustrated because you spent a lot of money on it. Because let me tell you, this, this is from a $55,000 printer. Now, would I suggest you get this printer? No, the reason is because the wax fucking sucks. The wax is not it. It's too soft. It's too brittle. It'll break. The prongs are too soft. They'll break with the investment. So even though you, you, you set up the sprue right, set it in the tree sprue, it'll still break some prongs because the investment is thick. And when it goes in there, it, it'll break it. So... You know, beautiful casting when it does go right. But look, I even had a problem right there sprueing it that I was like, you know, screw it. I'm going to just use my printer. And then, you know, you just waste time. But is it beautiful for casting whenever it works? Absolutely. Now, moving on to the wax injection and to the wax sprue. So we need these green waxes. This is a very strong wax. So now... We use this for the tree sprue, and then we connect the red one to it. So you do a lot. Da, 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 da. So you get the 100 pieces on here of the same one. This red wax is what we use for wax injection. This is what they use for the mold making. So this is a, a, a mass production wax piece. So whenever you see pieces that are mass produced, they have to make a rubber mold. They have to use a vulcanized rubber mold. They have to inject it with wax. So now the red one is the best one for wax injection. And the green one is the strongest one to hold all the wax in the same position. So when you don't go with the flask, it doesn't move. And it's a whole bunch of drama. And there you got it, guys. That's all the jewelry waxes the pros use. That's what I use. That's what the secret sauce is from Jacoby Jewels. Now, I'm about to give news of the next step, the next project, the next thing I'm doing. So we're going to start doing online classes. So you're going to be able to do and learn jewelry making from the comfortability of your home. So just like Gusto from Ratatouille said, anyone can be a jeweler, but only the fearless can be great. So make sure you subscribe and next to the video, like, subscribe, hit it. Let's go. Thank you so much. On to the next one.